I'm up here in Ozark, Alabama. I think it's February 8th. And just kind of want to give you an update on what I'm doing with my bees. Uh, yesterday I came over here and I treated for mites using oxalic acid vapor. And uh, this is kind of a dangerous time of the year for bees. Here in Alabama, it gets hot, then it gets cold, then it gets warm, then it gets rainy, then it gets windy, then it gets cold, then it gets hot. So it's kind of the, the uh, weather changes fairly consistently. Uh, the bees have been bringing in pollen uh, quite a bit, so there are some things blooming. We have some yellow mustard, or wild uh, yellow mustard blooming. I think that's what it's called around here. I also have some henbit and some other things blooming, but it's not a huge nectar time here. I believe we've, we've also had some uh, red maple uh, type stuff that's, that's bloomed a little bit. So they have been bringing in some pollen and possibly even a little bit of nectar. But this is the time of the year in the past when I have had some uh, bees to uh, starve uh, simply because there's not enough nectar coming in. The bees are building up. I think the availability of some kind of food stimulates them to begin to build up and then if it, we have a cold snap or a real rainy snap uh, or if whatever's blooming stops blooming and they've built up really strong they can just plow through their stores really fast because there's more bees they're more active and they can starve if you look on my videos last year i had a, a nuke that was stacked up four or five deep i believe three or four deep anyway and it starved out it would have been a really tremendous hive if i would have stayed on top of it so this year I've done a better job of feeding. I've got uh, four buckets right here of uh, sugar water out here for them. Just put it out here. This is kind of my setup if you haven't seen my feeding videos before. I uh, put a five gallon bucket out here and I stuff pine straw on the top. I'm pretty, I use quite a bit of pine straw. Then I put these uh, boards right here, these little boards or sticks work as well. To keep the lids up. We're going to have some rain coming in because it rains quite a bit this time of the year it seems like. So those lids kind of help uh, keep the rain from diluting the sugar water. And uh, I imagine with these, I think there's 22 hives up here right now. I imagine uh, this stuff will be sucked down in just a few days uh, once they find it. So I'm going to walk over to the hives here in a minute. We're going to drive over there. Um, and I'm, what I'm going to do, if you can see, those two kind of brown colored uh, nukes down there. Uh, both are just stuffed to the gills with bees, so I'm going to add a second box on them, and uh, we'll peek, I'll let you peek in there with me and kind of see what I'm doing and what I've got. Really not going to mess with the rest of the hives much today. Um, they're treated. They all seem to be healthy and, and busy, and I'm just going to kind of leave them alone, but I do want to add a box to those two um, so they can move up and they don't uh, switch into swarm mode, hopefully, uh, for a little bit longer. So I'm kind of excited. We're right on the cusp of bee season. If you've been watching my recent videos, I did have some bees on pallets that we've uh, sent off for pollination. So now I can focus on my other hives. These are more like my production hives up here and in a couple of different spots. I think I've got them in three or four different places now. This is my biggest uh, bee yard at this point in time. We're over here at the nukes. Um, we're gonna add this second box right here. These, these nukes are really full of bees, or at least they appeared to be yesterday when I treated for mites. We're pretty close to a road, so if you can hear the cars in the background, that's what that is. Um, right through the woods there. It's the main highway. But if you look at this nuke over here, we're going to add a box as well. Sometimes these bees will put propolis. So there's a little bee right there looking. Small little interest there, but they'll put propolis here to help. I guess control the draft or whatever they think they need to do. It's kind of interesting how they do that. We're going to add that second box on this one as well. Um, I assume we are. We'll double check when we get in there and make sure they need it. But I don't want these bees to get start swarming on me. I want to make sure I stay ahead of them. Look at those bees. These are some of the... I've had a lot of videos over the past year. These are some of the bees. Uh, this is a split I made. I think it was in late July sometime. I ordered a queens, some queens I'd never ordered before called Pendale Queens out of California. Supposedly they're really gentle bees, which you can tell they're looking pretty gentle right now. Um, and they're good bees, so we'll see. I ordered 20 of them. Some of them didn't make it. I think it was more beekeeper error than anything. I'm not sure I did the splits right. 
Um, and so these three nukes right here struggled a little bit at first, but as you can tell, it's doing really well. So let's just pull a couple frames out, see what we got. I think we need to probably add this second box. We're going to make sure here. See what we got here. If there's not as many bees as it looks like, we won't add the box. But I think we really probably it's about time. The bees are really starting to explode right now. It's just that kind of the year, time of the year around here. Sometimes it's just kind of hard to do it one-handed. Now, I can already tell, look at the brood on this. Outside frame, I don't know if you can tell, but let me blow. Solid brood all up under those bees right there. Definitely need to get another box on here. If the outside frame looks like this, then uh, yeah, this thing is going to be have way too many bees in it pretty soon. So set this right down here. Actually, set these frames out of here. I didn't have a chance to recycle these frames. Hopefully, the bees will go ahead and build up on them. Didn't have any brand new frames at home. I took them all up to the farm yesterday. Should have kept some back. I just brought these nukes from home. Smoke them again. The bees are flying around but they're actually pretty calm. I say that and I'll get stung but I have not been stung yet but they're flying all around me here trying to be as gentle as possible. Yeah they're not super happy with me but I probably wouldn't be either. I'll probably, yeah, that frame, tons and tons of bees, so, yeah, we definitely need to add a box here. Pretty yellow Italian Cordovan type bees. What I like to do, what I'll probably do, is put two frames of bees up here and leave three in the bottom box and then put empty frame, empty foundation, kind of checkerboard it. There's plenty of bees to cover it all I think. I think we'll be okay doing that. It's going to leave the same configuration. This is the frame I took out first right here. I think we'll be okay doing this. Yeah, they're getting a little feisty with me. Smoke them a little bit. I don't blame them. It's kind of cloudy. It's a little chilly. Not bad. It's probably upper 50s, lower 60s. Not sure of the temperature. Absolutely beautiful day, but it's getting cloudy. We got some rain coming. I'm just kind of racing the clock right now. So I'm going to take this. This was the fourth frame over. Take this frame right here and put it in that box. Yeah. I really wish I had some recycled or clean frames. Look at all those bees. How gentle. Not as much brood on this one, but there's eggs in there. It's probably hard to see on the video. Right down there are some eggs. I'm not sure if you can tell. Maybe you can. Oh, yeah. I think you can see them now. Haven't seen the queen. Not really concerned about it. Over here on this side, under those bees, there's a lot of brood, I think. Well, there is some brood. It looks like it's kind of at the stage where it's about to emerge, though. So as soon as it emerges, I imagine the queen will fill it right back up. Look at all those bees. This is a very strong nuke that I think is going to continue to just explode. 
like I say, I haven't seen the queen. I'm not really all that concerned about that. Obviously, she's in there. Trying to be extremely careful not to smash bees, particularly the queen. So, I think we're going to be in good shape here. Put that frame in the outside. And I'll use these frames for now. If the bees don't build them out, I'll replace them with some, some newer or recycled frames. But they may just fill these jokers on out. Who knows? Lots of bees. Good, strong hive. <clears throat> you can tell this is a frame that uh, you can tell this is a frame that had some wax moth damage. You can kind of see right there the webbing. Just scraped it off. I think they'll hopefully they'll just rebuild because there is some wax residue on there. We'll see. We'll experiment here. Maybe they'll be fine. But I'm real excited about this little nuke. I haven't been in these bees much. I've been working so hard trying to get those bees on pallets ready to go. But I haven't really spent much time in my regular, my other, the normal hives that I had, my production hives and stuff in these different locations. Got all the bees down there holding on to each other across the frames. So one of the things you've got to be super careful of is you don't want to smash the queen. It's just got to be super gentle moving the frames around. If, as long as you don't get in a hurry and just throw them around, that frame's fitting right down there nicely. You should be okay. I'm going to take the hive tool, make sure the frames are kind of mashed together. That way, that will hopefully eliminate Burkholm from being built. set this box on top. Let me smoke them. Hopefully I won't smash very many. Hopefully none. But So right now in this bottom box we've got a frame that was in there full of bees, empty foundation, frame full of bees, empty foundation, frame full of bees, and then the top box we're going to put on here. If this were later, about a month down the road, I might just split this hive right now, but we're just not quite ready for that yet. It's just, they're not really in that queen building mode yet. The weather's not consistent enough to be able to trust making queens, at least not in my opinion, quite yet. So there we go. Put the lid on, be done with this one. Look at all those bees right there. All right, that's gonna be it. I gotta do the same thing with this other hive over here. Before I end the video though, let me show you this propolis on the top. I think you'll find that interesting. Uh-oh. Same story here. These bees are a little darker. I'm not sure if these are from the Pendel Queen. These might be a, they might have, I'm not sure if I even did a, uh, it says I did. I got my tape on the back that shows it had a Pendel Queen, but these bees are darker in color. I wonder if they rejected the queen I put in here and just made their own, or if she was just had some darker genetics. Let's see how they did the propolis right there. That's a big old clump of propolis. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm actually going to just uh, get that off of there so I can put the other box on top. Okay. I'm going to probably do the same thing with this hive I did with the other one. Uh, that's it for this video. Uh, these other hives, I'm going to probably pretty much leave them alone. I may go peek in the top of them, or I may not. But as I just said, they all have bees in them. They're all treated for mites. And so this bee yard is now fed. I've got the feeders over there back behind the truck it's probably 40 40 yards away or so and that's worked well for me in the past so once I get this hive um, stacked up with another box if they for sure need it then I'll be done with this BR for today and move on to the next thing I've got to do some more treating and 
pipes and fitting in some of the different spots. But that's kind of my video for today. I appreciate you watching Bruce's Bees. I hope you'll subscribe. Uh, this has become more of a vlog, more than a actual kind of how to do things. Though I'll, I'll, I'll do things like this on occasion, but just kind of trying to keep you posted on what I'm doing with my bees and where it's going. Start off with a couple of hives back in 2013, and now we've expanded up to about 70 or 80, and then I managed some for some other people as well. And they're just going to try and keep growing and just kind of do what what comes naturally and and uh, pretty excited about it. All right, signing off for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future videos from me. On to the next video.